Now today we are starting about odogonium. Now odogonium, the some character of that odogonium plant is that they having long unbranched multicellular filamentous body, which contain long cylindrical cell, which placed end to end. Their basal cell of filament is modified into rhizoids cells or hold fast by which it attached to the substratum. The hold fast may be simple or multi lobed or disc shaped which having tubular outgrowths. They having pre apical cell which are broadly and rounded. The intercalary cell called cell caps which bears thing like marking of hemicellulose at the distal ends called apical caps. Now about their reproduction. First a sexual reproduction. The spruce spores and echinities are common means of asexual reproduction. In a zoospore develop a single spherical to void uniciliate and multiflagellate zoospores. On coming out of vessels, juice spore settle on same substratum through which it flagellar ends. Acanities are also formed in chain in the same species of odogonium. Now about their asexual reproduction. It takes place by two parts. The first one is macarandus and the second one is non macarandus. Here we see the life cycle of a odogonium plant having a sexual and a sexual phase. A sexual show a small circle. Here we see here a sexual reproduction is happening. Now after then there are sexual cycle are happening there. Odogonium in which fusion of two gametes are formed. Now Macarandus. Macarandus species both monoecious and dioecious in nature and have female filaments are morphologically similar except the development of sex organ. The non macarandus species are dioecious and exhibit dimorphism in which male and female filament are morphologically distinct as their anthridia are born. One special few cells filament called dwarf male Nanandrium, which also called nanandrium, produced by androspore, which developed into inside androsporangium. That's what I'll all about odogonium.